The world of Naruto is a realm brimming with captivating characters, intense battles, and intricate storylines. Throughout its narrative, one character in particular captivated the hearts of fans with her strength, wisdom, and indomitable spirit. Tsunade, the fifth Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. However, after the war's conclusion, when peace settled upon the shinobi world, Tsunade surprised many by relinquishing her position as Hokage. This decision left fans questioning the motivations behind her departure and wondering what led to this unexpected turn of events. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tsunade, a member of both the Senju and Uzumaki clans, holds the prestigious title of one of Konohagakure's sanin. Renowned as the world's most formidable Konoichi and a master of medical ninjutsu, she boasts an unrivaled reputation. However, repeated loss of her loved ones led Tsunade to abandon the life of a shinobi for an extended period. Eventually, her resolve was rekindled and she was convinced to return to her village, assuming the monumental role of the fifth Hokage, also called Godaime Hokage which literally means fifth fire shadow. In this esteemed position, her extraordinary abilities as a ninja and a healer proved to be indispensable assets for the well-being of Konoha. Tsunade, also known by the endearing moniker Princess or Hime, shared a unique bond with Hashirama Senju, the revered first Hokage of Konohagakure. As his first grandchild, Tsunade held a special place in Hashirama's heart, and he delighted in her mischievous nature and her adoption of his own penchant for gambling. This endearing connection between grandfather and granddaughter was further evidenced by the fact that Tsunade inherited Hashirama's cherished necklace upon his passing. Upon graduating from Konoha's academy, Tsunade embarked on her shinobi journey as a member of a formidable team led by the venerable Hiruzen Sarutobi, the third Hokage. Her teammates during this period were none other than Orochimaru and Jiraiya, two individuals who would go on to play significant roles in her life. Together, they formed a formidable trio, each possessing their own unique skills and personalities. These formative years would lay the foundation for the extraordinary achievements and the eventual path that Tsunade would embark upon as one of the legendary Sanin. Tsunade's younger brother, Nawaki, dreamed of becoming the Hokage someday and safeguarding the legacy of their esteemed grandfather. On Nawaki's 12th birthday, Tsunade bestowed upon him Hashirama's necklace in hopes that it would aid him in his pursuit. Tragically, Nawaki's life was cut short the following day during the brutal Second Shinobi World War leaving Tsunade devastated and the necklace back in her possession. Driven by the profound loss of her brother, Tsunade fervently advocated for the inclusion of medical nin in all four men squads, determined to prevent future tragedies like Nawaki's by ensuring adequate medical support on the battlefield. Although Hiruzen, the third Hokage, agreed with Tsunade's arguments, he couldn't allocate resources to implement them due to the ongoing war. On the other hand, Tsunade found an ally in Dan Kato, who shared her views. As their relationship grew, Dan revealed his dream of becoming Hokage to bring positive change to Konoha and shield his loved ones from death. Tsunade kissed his forehead and gave him Hashirama's necklace, hoping it would aid him in achieving his aspirations. Tragically, Tsunade was unable to save Dan from succumbing to his injuries, which resulted in her developing a fear of blood known as hemophobia. Dan's death led to Hashirama's necklace finding its way back to Tsunade, leading some to believe that wearing the necklace brought a curse that brought death to anyone but her. This unfortunate series of events deeply affected Tsunade, leading her to harbor a belief that pursuing one's dreams was futile and that assuming the role of Hokage was an impractical and foolish endeavor. After the death of Hiruzen, Konoha was left without a Hokage. Initially, when Jiraiya approached Tsunade and proposed that she take up the mantle of Hokage, she declined, expressing her disdain for the perceived futility of the role. However, her perspective shifted later on when she confidently asserted that Naruto would not die before achieving the title of Hokage. This newfound conviction enabled Tsunade to conquer her hemophobia or fear of blood and repel Orochimaru's attack. Consequently, she ultimately agreed to assume the position of the fifth Hokage. Tsunade proved herself to be a valuable asset during the pain attack as she summoned Katsuyu to heal the injured people of Konohagakure. She made use of the Yin Seal. It is a potent sealing technique employed by Tsunade where she accumulates and concentrates chakra within the seal mark on her forehead over time. 
Upon issuing the release command, the seal dissipates, enabling the stored chakra to flow back into her body. Tsunada utilizes this reservoir of chakra for various purposes, such as employing the creation rebirth technique to heal herself and aiding in the healing of numerous individuals with the assistance of Katsuyu. Furthermore, the release of the seal grants her the ability to utilize the strength of a hundred technique. Even after the destruction of the village by pain, she intended to face him on her own until the timely intervention of Naruto. However, because she drained her chakra, she fell ill and was in coma for a long period. The village had to install a new person to become the Hokage. Danzo was installed to be the sixth Hokage after much deliberation by the elders of Konoha. However, he wasn't approved by the Fire Lord before he was killed off by Sasuke. By the time Kakashi was to be installed as the sixth Hokage to replace Danzo, Tsunari woke up from the coma and resumed her duties. However, things changed after the Fourth Great Ninja War. Tsunade, as the fifth Hokage, played a crucial role in gathering the shinobi from various villages to form the allied shinobi forces. She collaborated with other Kages and served as one of the leaders of the alliance. During the battle, Tsunade assumes a support role, tending to the injuries of the other Kages and restoring their depleted chakra as necessary. To her surprise, Madara demonstrates the ability to employ her grandfather's wood release, prompting the discovery of a clone graft of Hashirama's face within Madara's body. Realizing Tsunade's lineage to Hashirama, Madara decides to prioritize her elimination due to her perceived inferiority compared to her ancestors. Despite not possessing all of Hashirama's innate talents, Tsunade possesses his indomitable will of fire, which motivated her to create the powerful technique known as the Ninja Art Creation Rebirth, Strength of a Hundred Technique. Activating this technique, Tsunade joins forces with the other Kages to launch a coordinated assault on Madara. While Madara remains unimpressed, Tsunade manages to land a forceful blow, creating an opportunity for the Kaze Kage to attempt sealing him. However, Madara eludes her and ends up stabbing her. After fighting against the Kages for a while and summoning five Susano to deal with each of them, the Edo Tensei was released and Madara's soul was to return to the Pure Land but he defied the control of the caster of the Jutsu, thereby staying back to continue his fight against the Kages. Tsunade ends up being dissected after the battle. Even after running out of chakra, she summons Katsuyu to bring the other Kages close to her so that she can heal them. Having exhausted nearly all her chakra in aiding the other Kage, Tsunade finds herself unable to even speak. Orochimaru, expressing his willingness to help, instructs Karin to restore Tsunade's depleted chakra, while Suigetsu assists Katsuyu in reuniting Tsunade's separated halves. Although reluctant, Tsunade expresses her gratitude to Orochimaru once she is revitalized. Noticing a transformation in him that, had it occurred earlier, might have saved Jiraiya. Orochimaru departs, leaving Tsunade to continue the healing process for the remaining Kage. Indeed, Tsunade was very brave throughout the entire Fort Shinobi War, and after the war, Kakashi was appointed as the sixth Hokage. After a year later, Tsunade was still acting on his behalf and pressured him to make a decision. Kakashi instructed her to wait until he completed his mission to guard Tobi Shachimaru on his top secret maiden voyage. After the hijack and crashing of the ship, Kakashi does his first act as an Okage by passing judgment on the hijacker Kayo. Tsunade, being a woman in her 50s, never truly found enjoyment in the role of Okage. She assumed the position out of necessity as there were no other suitable candidates and Jiraiya declined the offer. Despite her personal feelings, Tsunade took up the mantle for the sake of the Hidden Leaf, which had recently suffered a major attack similar to the Nine Tails incident. She felt a deep sense of duty towards her home even though she may not have been fond of the role. By remaining as Hokage until after the war, Tsunade demonstrated her strong dedication to the Hidden Leaf. However, she always knew that the Hokage position was not meant for her, which ultimately led her to pass it on to Kakashi. She recognized Kakashi's youth, extensive experience, strength, and intellectual qualifications, making him a suitable candidate. Had Naruto or others like Shikamaru been a few years older, Tsunade may have considered them for the role after some additional training and discipline. Although Tsunade could have potentially stayed as a Hokage until the Boruto era, it is evident from the manga and anime that she did not find fulfillment in the position. As the first female Kage, it is important to respect her choices and allow her to follow her own path. 
However, she chose to follow her own plans and step down from the world at a similar age to when Hiruzen Sarutobi had relinquished his position which occurred prior to the Ninetales attack on the village. During the Fourth Ninja War, she depleted a substantial amount of her chakra while utilizing the strength of a hundred seal to heal numerous individuals. She faced a life-threatening situation when she was struck by Madara's Susana sword, but her possession of Hashirama cells activated, ultimately saving her. Exhausted and drained of chakra, Tsunade found herself in a dire state and it was Orochimaru who intervened and rescued her by enlisting Karin and Suigetsu to heal her. Having overexerted herself with the extensive usage of the creation rebirth technique, despite being only 55 years old, Tsunade had depleted her cellular resource to such an extent that her physical age may have accelerated, potentially making her resemble someone in their 70s or 80s. Indeed, Tsunade is just an old woman now who wants to spend her days in retirement. Do you think she should have retired or continued being the Hokage? Do let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.